Bish Kurin, Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering, Rajagiri School of Engineering and Technology. Today we are going to discuss about Sense Amplifier Module 5 EC304 VLSI. Before going to the details of Sense Amplifier, just recollect the details regarding memory structures. Memories can be basically classified into two types, RAM and ROM. RAM is again classified into two, SRAM and static RAM. So as you will know, during the read operation of static RAM, we need a special kind of circuit called sense amplifier to decide the data which is read from the memory. The data mainly read from the memory cell will be either 1 or 0. And sense amplifier will help to decide whether the data is 1 or 0. So sense amplifier is basically a part of memory structure or a memory cell mainly associated with static RAM. And it plays a major role in functionality, performance, as well as reliability of the memory cell. So as shown in the figure, it is a simple block diagram of static RAM. And this is the memory cell, which is constructed using six different transistors. Four of them are used to construct uh, our inverter structures. Two inverters are there with, they are cross coupled and two other transistors are used to access this memory cell they are called access transistors and these two access transistors are connected to two bit lines one line is called bit line and another line is bit bar line this bit as well as bit bar line are acting as input during the write operation and they are acting as output line during the read operation so during the read operation we are taking a particular data from the memory and during the write operation we are giving a particular data into the memory and word line will be used to enable or uh, enable read as well as write operation if word line is one that means we can write a data into the memory or we can read a data from the memory but if the word line is zero the memory will be in the hold state and see at the bottom side of the figure these two bit lines are connected to a sense amplifier here comes the importance of sense amplifier because during the read operation the bit lines will give you one bit line will give you zero voltage and one bit line will give you one one so during the read operation one of the bit line will pull down to zero so from this information a sense amplifier will decide whether the data present in the memory is one or zero so sense amplifier is having two inputs so that Sense amplifier is mainly a differential amplifier which senses the bit lines in the memory. So, sense amplifier senses two bit lines. See, look at the figure. This is differential sense amplifier and the two input. Two inputs are our bit lines and bit bar lines from the SRAM cell. So, these two lines will give small signal differential input and this differential sense amplifier will amplify them and to give a large signal single ended output. Here comes the question that why we are using a differential amplifier as sense amplifier. That is because numerous advantages of differential amplifier. In the case of differential amplifier, it will be having two inputs as shown in the figure V1 and V2 are the inputs. In the case of SRAM, V1 and V2 are bit as well as bit bar lines and the differential amplifier it will amplify the difference between two inputs here we are using a single ended differential amplifier so we have only one output the another output is connected to ground in the block diagram so V0 will be VO will be equal to A into V1 minus V2 where A is the gain of differential amplifier V1 minus V2 is the difference between the two inputs so uh, going to the numerous advantages of differential amplifier the most important property of differential amplifier is common mode rejection common mode rejection means it will reject the noise equally injected to both inputs since this is a memory cell many uh, noises will affect the input lines like bit as well as bit bar lines these noises will be rejected by or will be uh, rejected by our differential amplifier and this common mode rejection will be measured by or monitored by a parameter called CMRR common mode rejection ratio also we can suppress the spikes on power supply which can be also measured by another factor called PSRR 
പവർ സപ്ലൈ റിജക്ഷൻ റേഷ്യോ ആൻഡ് ഫ്രം ദ ഫിഗർ യു ക്യാൻ സി ദാറ്റ് ദിസ് ഇസ് എ മെമ്മറി സെൽ സ്റ്റാറ്റിക് സിക്സ് ട്രാൻസിച്ച എസ് റാം സെൽ വർ എം വൺ എം ടു കോൺസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂട്ട് വൺ ഇൻവേർട്ടർ എം ത്രീ എം ഫോർ കോൺസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂട്ട് അനദർ ഇൻവേർട്ടർ ആൻഡ് എം ഫൈവ് ആൻഡ് എം സിക്സ് ആർ എൻ മോസ് ട്രാൻസിച്ചർ ആർ വിച്ച് ആർ കോൾഡ് ആക്സസ് ട്രാൻസിസ്റ്റേഴ്സ് ബിക്കോസ് എം ഫൈവ് ആൻഡ് എം സിക്സ് ആർ യൂസ് ടു ആക്സസ് ദ മെമ്മറി സെൽ വിത്ത് ദ ഹെൽപ്പ് ഓഫ് ബി എൽ ആൻഡ് ബി എൽ ബാർ ലൈൻ ബി എൽ ആൻഡ് ബി എൽ ബാർ ആർ ദ ബിറ്റ് ബിറ്റ് ആസ് വെൽ ആസ് ബിറ്റ് ബാർ ലൈൻ and the differential approach is only applicable to sram memories because static gram will give you or static gram cell will give you true differential outputs because bl and bl bar are acting as the true differential outputs so going to the details of differential voltage sense amplifier in the figure you can see that a basic differential single stage amplifier so here the amplification will be accomplished by a single stage amplifier with a current mirror so here as you can see in the figure see m1 and m2 are two nmos transistors which are used to get the inputs bit as well as bit bar line driven by the sram memory cell this bit as well as bit bar lines are driven from the sram memory cell and m3 and m4 m3 and m4 are the current mirror structure where m1 and m2 are the differential input devices and m5 m5 is another nmos transistor which is used to enable the entire sense amplifier where se stands for sense amplifier enable if se is high that means m5 is a nmos transistor which will be on so sense amplifier will be enable and the output of sense amplifier is given to another inverter and the total output of the main output of sense amplifier is the output of this inverter so this is the output of sense amplifier so this is a simple one stage differential amplifier differential voltage sense amplifier used to sense the bit as well as bit bar line of sram cell and so going to the uh, function of differential voltage sense amplifier or working of differential voltage sense amplifier initially as you all know during the read operation initially both inputs like bit as well as bit bar lines are precharged and equalized to a common value equalized to a common value like vdd so during the read operation both input lines bit as well as bit bar lines will be precharged to vdd during this time this se se signal will be low in order to disable the sense amplifier and once read operation initiated one of the bit lines either bit line or bit bar line will drop to zero or pull down to zero at that time the se will be high and this entire sense amplifier will be enabled so se will be enabled only when read operation is initiated at that time one of the bit lines will be pulled down to zero so sufficient differential signal because initially both bit as well as bit bar lines are precharged and equalized equalized means both are equal so to amplify uh, a signal in the differential amplifier the both inputs will be different if they are same the output of differential amplifier will be zero so during the read operation or once the read operation initiated one of the bit lines will pull down to zero so sufficient differential signal has been established and then the amplifier will evaluate and we will get the output at this side this output will be the data which is present in the memory okay so in the read operation as you all know if bit bar line is pulled to low that means the output will be output will be output should be high that means the data should be stored in the memory uh, is one and if bit line is pulled to zero that means data stored in the memory will be zero all right so that's all about the working of single stage differential voltage sense amplifier so we are going to two stage differential sensing approach two stage differential sensing approach uh, means we are using two different stage so for that we are using we have two differential amplifier in the uh, initial stage both differential amplifier using the same inputs x x bar and x x bar both x are bit lines 
X bars are bit bar lines. They are the inputs from memory. And the output of these two differential amplifiers are given to input of another differential amplifier. So this is a stage 1 differential amplifier and this is stage 2. That is why it is called two stage differential sensing approach. So output of first stage differential amplifier is given to inputs of second stage differential amplifier and again the output of second stage differential amplifier is connected to another inverter. So this pre-charge line, pre-charge line is pre-charge, PC bar is a signal which is used to pre-charge the bit as well as bit bar line. So this is the uh, circuit which is used to pre-charge bit bar as well as bit bar line. So initially or in the first step the bit lines are pre-charged to. Bit lines means this is one BL line and this is BL bar line. As you can see in the figure, BL bar is X bar and BL is X which is connected to differential amplifier. So both BL bar as well as BL lines are pre-charged to VDD by pulling PC bar as low. If PC bar is low, that means this EQ transistor which is a PMOS, PMOS will turn on and BL as well as BL bar line will be pre-charged to VDD which is ensuring that initial voltage on both bit lines are high. So when both bit lines are high, differential sense amplifier will do nothing because both inputs are high and they are equalized. This operation is called equalization which is necessary to prevent the sense amplifier from making wrong excursion when turned on. So once the read operation is initiated by disabling the pre-charge and equalization devices, so when you disable the pre-charge and equalization devices, we can start the read operation. So to start the read operation, word line should be equal to 1. So when word line should be equal to 1, one of the bit lines will pull down to 0. When one of the bit lines will be pulled down to 0 or low by the selected memory cell, sufficient signal will be built up, sufficient differential signal will be built up and which is given to differential sense amplifier and the sense amplifier will be turned on by the SE signal. As you can see in the figure, see one SE is there and SE is here and SE is here. Three SE signals all are same. Uh, the SE signal will be high to enable the entire sense amplifier. So when SE signal is uh, high, the sense amplifier will enable and the differential input signal on the bit line is amplified by two stage amplifier and eventually Eventually, the rail-to-rail -rail output is produced at the output of the inverter. So, we will get the output at the output of inverter. So, this output gives the data which is stored in the 6 transistor SRAM. So, that's all about the working of two-stage differential sensing approach. So, in uh, sense amplifier is used to sense the two bit lines which is associated with a static RAM. And why we are using differential amplifier? The, that is because of the numerous advantages of differential amplifier, mainly common mode rejection as well as power supply rejection, uh, like spikes on power supply. That's all about sense amplifier. Thank you. Happy learning.